Today's video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. I have one of their sleep masks right here and it is perfect for light sleepers, for sleeping on the go, travel, or at home. It's different than other sleep masks because it has a 100% blackout capability with these little pillows for your eyes and it has a sleek design that's fully adjustable for your comfort. Um, it has velcro attachments so you can change the size and shape of it. They have different styles of sleep masks, uh, aromatherapy ones, cooling, warming, all kinds of different stuff. And you can check it out on Mantis Sleep, linked below. And for a 10% coupon code, use mermaid10. And now, on to the video. Hello, please come into my office. Welcome. Uh, you can have a seat right there on the couch or on the chair next to it, whatever's most comfortable for you. Good. I'm Dr. Knight and you must be perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, my secretary gave me your file and went over some basic details about you. Uh, but of course, I most want to hear, but of course, I would like to hear it from you and talk about whatever it is that's on your mind today. Have you been to a psychiatrist or a therapist before? There's no mention of that in your chart, so... Or is this your first visit? Okay. Well, that's perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing to be nervous about. This is just a place, a very safe place for you to talk about anything you like. Mm -hmm. Everything is completely confidential and there's never any judgment or anything like that. Unlike the world outside where we may encounter those things, this is a place to be fully uncensored with everything going on in your mind, in your heart, anything that is troubling you, or anything that you want to share at all. And all our conversations and all my notes are completely confidential, but I'm going to be jotting down some things just for my own reference so that when you come back next time, we can pick up where we left off. And sometimes it's kind of easier to see things once they're written down. I'll be able to read things back to you if you wish, but yeah, this is completely your time, your space, and there's never any pressure to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Um, I mean, if 
you want to sit in silence for our session, that's okay too. It's completely up to you. I want you to know that you are in charge of this session. You have the floor and you can lead can lead this conversation wherever it feels right for you. Okay. So, what has been on your mind recently? Hmm. Trouble sleeping and anxiety is extremely common, unfortunately. Um, but the good news about it, because it's so common, that means there are many different proven ways to deal with it, to greatly reduce it, and eventually eliminate as much as possible of it out of your life because rest and relaxation is very, very important so I'm here to help figure out anything that is causing you stress or preventing you from getting the quality sleep that you deserve course, helping you to eliminate, eliminate those things from your life so that you can feel healthy and happy and very well rested. So I'm not like a tradition, I'm not like many psychiatrists. I only prescribe medications as an absolute last resort and I'm very passionate about uh, therapy, about talking things out, and about alternative forms of healing, any kind of natural uh, techniques or things that we can do. Of course, there are cases that require medication, but we try to use deductive reasoning to first, uh, not to jump to that as a first conclusion. So many problems can be solved with just talking about them or some natural therapeutic techniques. So that's what we're going to do before anything else. So tell me about things that kind of might race through your mind uh, when you're trying to fall asleep so we can figure out a way to deal with them. you to know that that's not uncommon and even if it was that it's not something that you should uh, worry about or be hard on yourself about a 
lot of times we can be very judgmental of ourselves and it's really completely counterproductive and unnecessary so um, that's why it's good to talk to an objective outside person who may not uh, know you or have a history with you because that makes it easier for me to see you uh, completely from the outside and to remind you that that, that you are okay mm -hmm. that you are okay and that everything is gonna be okay, okay, okay mm -hmm. it is because you're here you are looking for a solution and that alone makes all the difference all the difference in the world the fact that you are seeking services to improve your sleep and your life and you should feel very very proud of that and that is the first first step in taking excellent care of yourself, of your health, of your well-being. So, make sure to give yourself credit for that. Give yourself credit as much as possible for every step you take to improve your life. No matter how small or trivial it may seem, it's important to acknowledge all of our wins, big and small, and then we can build on that and build a foundation of confidence that will permeate all the areas of our life. Okay. There are no wrong answers. It's all just a free-flowing kind of expression of anything that's going on with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. say that I am so proud of you that you are able to be open and vulnerable and so honest not just with me but most importantly to be honest with yourself mm -hmm. it seems like you have a very healthy relationship with your own internal world and that makes all the difference but it is good to check in with an outside party and kind of get reassurance and um, just get reassurance that everything everything is going to be okay it's okay it's okay you're gonna be just fine 
Now I'm always here to talk whenever you need. I'm always here to listen, listen, listen. Um, but if ever you are unable to come in, then I highly recommend you having a journal of your own. doing a kind of free flow writing. Have you ever tried that? So basically you set a timer for even just one minute, five minutes, whatever you're comfortable with. You set a timer and then you open a blank page and you just begin writing without stopping to uh, correct it or stopping to edit it or fix it or change it in any way without stopping to read through it to see if it makes sense none of that just writing until the timer stops okay just anything that comes to mind even if it seems incoherent, it doesn't matter. You just write, 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 until the timer goes off or your hand starts to hurt. Uh, I feel like it helps to do it by hand with a pencil or a pen, a marker, whatever. But you can also type this that will work but there's something um, there's something about the physical activity of writing it by hand that kind of in my opinion releases the emotions you might have repressed or pent up it kind of connects the physical and the emotional into the writing usually faster than if you type it but both of them can be very therapeutic mm -hmm. so let's see how are you feeling right now? do you notice how much it helps? quickly it helps to express some of your thoughts and emotions and to open up to somebody yeah yes it can feel like a heavy weight from your heart and your mind it will lift it instantly when you can be brave enough to express what you are thinking and feeling to yourself, to another person, to your writing. Otherwise, it just can kind of sit inside of us and ferminate. Um, and that can be a big cause of racing thoughts when you're trying to sleep so if you just take moments throughout the day to either talk to somebody um, that you can trust or to sit down and talk to yourself in the form of writing out your thoughts writing out your thoughts then that will make all the difference at night when you are ready for bed and you are trying to relax, relax, relax and fall asleep then you will not, not be filled with all these unresolved thoughts and memories and feelings because you will have already 
already dealt with them as soon as they come up or shortly after. So I highly recommend that. Yes, I think that is going to help you sleep better than any sleeping pill would. I'm gonna write you a little prescription. Prescription. This is for you. It is your prescription for one short five minute meditation in the morning to make sure you start your day with a clear head and with lots of energy and a prescription for one short journal session during the day or and or I should say, it's good to have both, a conversation with a friend or a professional. Here you are. It was such a pleasure meeting you and I'm very happy that you chose to come in and talk to me about your sleep and your thoughts and if you take the prescription I gave you certain it will make a big difference in your life, in your feeling of happiness, and in the quality of rest that you get at night. Okay, all right, well, you can book another session with the receptionist, or you can call us anytime that you want to come in again, have a chat, just relax and um, talk about anything you want. So, until then, I wish you very sweet dreams.